A film Muregbe speaks out on the death of Mr. Oronto Douglas. In the early hours of April 9, 2015, the federal government of Nigeria lost one of its trusted aides to the incumbent president, Goodluck Jonathan. Mr. Oronto Douglas, who died at the state hospital due to a cancer-related illness. According to reports, the late Toronto Douglas, who was a special advisor to the president on research, documentation and strategy, and Niger Delta environmental activist, had been battling with cancer for quite some time, but remained steadfast in working hard to keep alive his belief in the Jonathan-led administration. CEO now music and manager to Nigerian legendary singer Two-Face, Tubaba, if you Murugwe, had a talk with HeTV on his relationship with the late Mr. Douglas. He appeared to be a mover. He appeared to be um, a very, a very powerful person so to speak he 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 appeared to have the ability to get a lot of things done um, so um, he, he was also a very important person um, so it's 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 a huge loss um, it's a huge loss for I'm sure for for his family primarily uh, for his friends and associates um, I think it's very sad. Mr. Murugwe shared his opinion on the untimely death due to cancer. When I when I, I, I got the news about Mr. Douglas, after after a few seconds, I I, I tried to put a call through to uh, Dr. Abia, uh, who's in charge of, of of the project, to get an update on exactly how much, you know, uh, the CECP has been able to raise uh, towards towards that all important cause. This is a frightening thing. If people as important as as uh, Mr. Douglas, people who are in government, people who have you know access to power, people who can influence policy, people who if if people like that can can lose a battle to cancer, what chance does the guy in Mushin, the guy somewhere in Oshobo, the guy somewhere in, in, in Kaduna, the guy living in Saple, Wari, you know, those far flung areas. The guys who can't, with the guys on 18,000 naira minimum wage a month, what chance do they have? Should they ha suffer the misfortune of, of being afflicted with cancer? What chance does someone living in a rural area, someone who lives on, on a dollar per day, what chance does that person have of beating cancer? Message to people in position of authority. Today, India is top two, top three in the world is in terms of cancer research, treatment, and, and, and the maintenance of the disease. America is pushing to a point where they're, they're, they're targeting zero deaths. They're, 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 they're working towards beating cancer completely. In Nigeria today, probably one in every three people afflicted with cancer is likely going to die. The mortality rate is, is criminal. Now, if, you, if, it's, if it's a one to three, what we're basically saying is that if the 100 people afflicted with cancer, we're likely going to lose 30. If there's a million people afflicted with, with cancer, we are likely going to lose 300,000. Now, this disease can be managed. This disease can be treated as long as people have access to early screening.